Hello, my name is Melanie from the Office of Distance Learning and Summer Programs. This tutorial will explain how to access Wimba Live Classroom through Blackboard for your online course. To begin, log into your Blackboard account with your AccessNet username and password. Next, select and click the course you would like to view from the My Courses tab. On the left-hand side of the page, click the link called Live Classroom Lectures. Then click on Live Classroom under the course name. On this page, you will find a list of archived Live Classroom sessions ordered by date and time. You can access any of these sessions to review information from a previously recorded session. A green icon or an arrow to the right of the archive session means that the archive is currently open to view. An orange icon or a door means that the archive is closed and you will have to contact your instructor to open the archive. Before entering Live Classroom, make sure you have the pop-up blocker on your internet browser set to off. To do this in Internet Explorer, go to Tools, Pop-up Blocker, Turn Off Pop-up Blocker. After disabling your pop-up blocker, click the Enter Room button. When you first enter Live Classroom, you will be prompted to run a wizard, which will ensure that your computer is ready to run Live Classroom. Click Run Wizard. The wizard will take you through six set of features to make sure your computer can run Live Classroom. Click Start to begin running the wizard. First, the wizard will automatically detect if you have pop-ups, Java, and text chat enabled. When you reach the signed applet portion of the wizard, click Next. If a security pop-up window appears, click Always, Run, or Trust to allow Wimba Live Classroom audio to run on your computer. Next, you will need headphones or speakers connected to your computer to test the audio playback. Click Next after you hear the audio greeting. Finally, you will test the Live Classroom audio recording. You must have a microphone connected to your computer in order to test audio recording. After you hear a set of tones, hold down the talk button and speak into your microphone. After you hear your voice played back, click Next. On the final page, after clicking Launch in the wizard, you will be able to enter Live Classroom for your course and should not be prompted to run the wizard in the future. Once you have entered Live Classroom, there are a number of ways to communicate. In order to talk through Live Classroom, hold down the Talk button or press the Control key on your keyboard and speak into your microphone. Your audio levels will be displayed to the left of the Talk button. You can also call in to talk by dialing the phone number and entering the PIN number listed on the telephone icon. You may also type a message to the class in the chat box. You can choose whether you want the message to go to the whole room or only to your instructor by using the drop-down menu below the chat box. If you would like to show a video of yourself, Click the video camera icon above the chat box. Then click the middle icon to test your video feed. After you are satisfied with your video feed, click the eye icon on the left to transmit your video. Your video will be transmitted when clicking the talk button. Click the eye icon again to discontinue the video transmission when you are finished. Underneath the classroom list, there are a number of icons that can be used to communicate with the class. Click the checkmark icon to answer yes, the X icon to answer no, and the hand icon to raise your hand. Your status can also be set by using settings within the face icon.
Thank you for listening to this tutorial on Wimba Live Classroom. Please refer to the following contact information if you have any questions about Live Classroom or Blackboard. The Wimba Help Desk is open 24-7 to answer any questions about Live Classroom. If you have a question about Blackboard or your Temple email account, please contact the Temple University Help Desk by phone or email.